I'm Dr. John. This is your Maintenance Minute. Hey, look, we're continuing our conversation on storeroom processes. There's 32 of them. We're going to talk about two of them today. Uh, this is, <laughs> get my board right here. Uh, this is a subject that I find very fascinating. In fact, here at Maintenance Innovators, we're very good at this. We do this uh, quite frequently around the world for many of our clients. It's on critical spare parts. It's really Two processes. One is the critical spare parts algorithm. The other one is from time to time we need to review our process and make sure we've got, you know, our critical spare parts are really critical and that we've got a really good process for identifying those and then what we do with them once we identify them as far as how we take care of them in the storm. So there's four things I want to talk about that make a part truly critical. The first three are very subjective. I think you will agree with me. I believe everybody considers a critical spare part one that would be very upsetting to production. That's not any production. That's like major production, uh, not just like one machine break, breaks down and it sort of is a nuisance to work around, but really shuts down an operation. Again, that's very subjective, right? Another criteria that you would expect to see for a critical spare part is that it's very expensive to get. In fact, almost by by nature, things that are long lead time, which is the next characteristic, and things that are very upsetting to production probably are very expensive, right? It could be a small item, but it's very expensive. It's very rare. There aren't many of them in the world, so it's very expensive. Again, that is subjective, right? If if you're a huge global corporation, hundreds of billions of dollars, maybe a million dollars is a drop in the bucket. I know it hurts a little bit, but if you're a small mom and pop operation, a million dollar part could take you out of business. The third characteristic that is, uh, again, very subjective is it takes, uh, it's a long lead time, it takes a long time to get from sort of when you order it to when you actually receive it. Uh, I say it's subject subjective because if you got to hold your breath until you get it, 26 seconds can be a long time. So again, whatever the pain point is for you guys. The fourth characteristic, and this is one I, when I work with my clients, I really stress this one. A critical spare part is always a part that you do not want to use. There's nothing subjective about that. In fact, if it's a very rare part, it's very upsetting to production, and it costs a lot of money to get and takes a long time to get. Why in the world would you ever want to pull the one spare part you have in the storeroom out? in order to use it. So this is just a conversation on critical spare parts. There's a real calculation for this. In fact, I suggest that you have a calculation for it. Don't go on bias. Don't go on personal opinion. Have some mathematical formula. That's what we do. We help companies create a mathematical algorithm to determine if a part's critical or not. That takes the bias out of it, takes the guesswork out. I'm Dr. John. This has been your Maintenance Minute.